All right, we are back. It is the Personal Health Care Reform Talk Show on Pegasus Net Waves, taking your health to a higher level, riding that mythical horse named Pegasus. So, um, this is show number 13, so this may be a spastic, spastic show of uh, who knows what because, well, my show is a teenager now. You never know what's going to happen at 13. There could be mood swings, there could be outrage, there could be, I could be crying in a corner, who knows. Um, so we'll see what happens on this one. Um, but with that, we're going to do a little health in the news for right quick, and this is going to be a special edition health in the news segment. Uh, mostly because, well, there's not going to be too much news, but we're going to, most of the news is going to be about one of my uh, health partners. Before we get uh, get on with that, a uh, few things. First off, if you haven't seen yet, my book is out. So you've heard the show, you've heard all the talk on the show, uh, and now Personal Health Care Reform, the book, is out. So go to Ken, go to the Kindle store, look for the Personal Health Care Reform book on there, and the workbook, because you need both of them. And uh, go in there, purchase it, write a review. Please write a nice review, because bad reviews don't help sell books. Um, <laughs> but uh, either way, you're going to love the book. It's going to help you out. Anybody that you know that's struggling with getting healthy, uh, they need to find a way to do it, figure out their path and how to how to get that done, uh, get to where they're actually living independently healthy. Um, get them to the book. Have them buy the book. Buy the book, buy the book for them and send it to them. Um, so uh, do that. It, it came out on April 1st. This is, of course, now April 3rd right now. Uh, so it's been released for two days now, um, and one of the taglines is "Don't be a fool, or don't let anybody fool with your health." By my book, because April Fool's Day. Um, so with that, go online, check the book out. You're gonna love it. And uh, of course, I want to thank all my health partners for everything that they do for the show and helping enhance the show. So uh, with that, I want to give a little quick little shout out to ID Life. Uh, if you haven't been on my website yet, go to the website and take that free health assessment. I'm telling you right now, it's it used to be. It was going to go into doctor's offices for $300 just to take this assessment. That's how incredible this thing is, just the assessment itself, the, the information you get on the back end of it uh, about how to, how to live a healthier life. But go online, take that one. It's just for free. Um, you can't beat free, can you? Go in there, check that out. Uh, of course, also, everybody needs an ER doctor on the phone, so check out uh, my good friends over at... Uh, get med call assist for that service and they've got all kinds of cool stuff coming up that we're going to talk about on the show later on as well um, and of course you got to have the right foods uh, food makes everything happen because well diet is 90 percent of everything uh, it's even better than supplements because supplements only supplement but you got to have real food so with that see my friends over at uh, pick a fit foods here in dallas they do deliver and you get to individually pick out what meal is going to work best for you and the kids and everybody else so you get to pick and choose what you get it's not pretty well Everything's pre-made, but you get to make the meals yourself, uh, which is really, really, really cool because most places don't let you do that, do they? Um, think of it like furs, but a whole lot healthier, and you can take it home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're all got a good laugh out of that one. <laughs> so, uh, anybody, the meats are antibiotic-free. They're gluten-free. I mean, great, great place. Um, and it's all made by an expert chef, so that helps out with taste and flavor potential, too. So... Uh, go check them out. And last but not least, I actually have one of my health partners on the phone with me, and we're going to talk with Mr. Reg Miller with Kinesi because you got to have some really good athletic gear if you're going to uh, get out there, move around, uh, do everything else that you're going to do, especially in the summertime, because uh, it gets kind of hot, uh, especially here in Dallas. It gets very hot here, so you need something that's going to take care of you. Uh, and also it's going to take care of your lower back and everything else because it's, he's got this great new system called the lock. So uh, with that, Reg, if you will say hi to the entire audience here. Hi to the entire audience. Hi. Uh, so Reg is actually calling us from Canada. He's one of our friends from way, way up north where, you know, they get snow and stuff like that, and it's cold. What's cold like? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, everybody has this misnomer that Canada is cold, but if, uh, if you look at actually Toronto and you look at a map, we're actually level with Northern California. So... We're not that cold here, but there are spots in Canada that are much farther north than us, and it, and it does get cold, a lot of snow. We don't have any snow. It's like uh, about uh, 48 degrees here today, which is not bad. The sun's out, so it's, it's not so bad. Ah, nice. Well, actually, I think y'all been warmer than we have been here in Dallas, so I'm asking you about cold, and we're, we've been setting cold records here, here in the Metroplex. So, um, right. Anyway, I, didn't, I wanted to bring you on and talk about uh, a little bit about how we, how we got together, how we met, and uh, talk a little bit about Kinesi. And then, of course, we're going to bring you up on for a full 15-minute segment later on uh, so we can really dig in deep about uh, about the clothing. But, um, of course, I was working with another company called Max International. Still do some stuff with them. Great products from them, um, by the way. And um, 
but we got connected through them and uh, uh, saw your athletic gear line and of course I've been in the industry for a long time saw what you did and what you manufacture and tried it on and uh, love love the clothing uh, absolutely love it so uh, if you can give everybody kind of a quick little background on uh, on you yourself and then uh, how you created the Kinesi line right I mean um, as an ex-professional athlete I was uh, you know I had to wear all of the you know typical Nike dry fits and the, and the Pumas and the Adidas and stuff and never really liked it it always stuck to me it always stank it always picked it was just it was it, it was just gross to actually perform in but synthetics uh, are the go-to thing or have been the go-to thing for ages so we looked at a uh, at taking cotton which everybody loves and we found a way for the first time anybody and I don't care what armor under armor says with charge cotton anything we do 100% cotton that doesn't wick it does much better than that it actually moves moisture away from your skin so your garment may be wet but your skin will be dry and that is something that performance product none of the performance products out there in the market can do it except active cotton so Kinesi has that secondly we created for the first time ever as well a core compression short that actually supports the pelvic floor and gives you core stability while you work out this is massively important for anybody who has a dynamic sport. Lunging, running, squatting, weightlifting. Anytime you bend your knees, you put pressure on the pelvic floor. And the lock is the only anatomically correct product. It took five years to get the patent, and now we have it. And uh, now you are going to be entitled to wear this kind of short, which gives you amazing support through your anatomy, through your pelvic floor, makes you recover faster, makes you form longer and stronger so those are the two really really different we are different and we are excited about it very good yeah and it's uh i've, I've been telling everybody around around dallas i know about the about the wear and of course they see me wearing it now uh, most everybody sees me working out and I, I i lift heavy on occasion i mean i'll do 400 plus pounds on squats and no belts i, I lift it raw um and so from a stability standpoint doing it in just regular uh, regular shorts versus doing the kinesis stuff it's it's a whole nother world of, of doing it that way because the, the support is there uh and you know the nice thing about the shirt uh, it's, i mean it keeps me dry i feel good in it uh you actually feel stronger wearing wearing everything so um with that i want to thank you for coming on and giving just a little tidbit about uh, about kinesis and uh, we're gonna bring you back on the show later on uh right right before summer in fact we're going to talk about um uh, staying cool in the summertime because that's a major, major issue, especially for kids once they start going out and they're playing around, uh, or whenever they start doing two day, two days for sports. Uh, what that means to them on a performance standpoint and safety. Uh, safety well, is a huge. Staying cooler and drier, yeah. which is a major thing, right? Yeah. So, uh, especially in Dallas because it's kind of humid here. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> yes. So, so thank you for coming on, and uh, we'll bring you back on uh, for another segment uh, before the summer gets here. And with that. Everybody out there, get ready for the rest of the show, and um, definitely go check out all my all my health partners, and also on the website, clintfuquay.com, uh, and personalhealthcarereform.com. Look at the Kinesi uh, section on there on the products page, uh, because if you go through me, you get a little discount on the products. How about that? A little love for you just for me on that. Uh, so with that, we'll be back with the rest of the show in a little bit. This is Michael Burke repping Lakewood Brewing Company, and I want to tell you all about Big Texas Beer Fest 2014. It'll be Saturday, April 5th, 2 p.m. to 6.30 at Fair Park. You can buy your tickets online at BigTexBeerFest.com. We'll have several breweries there, over 100, plenty of beer, live music, and food. Bring you and your friends. Skull. All right, this is Clint Fuquay with the Personal Health Care Reform Talk Show, and you've heard the show, you've heard me talk about all kinds of stuff with health and wellness, on April 1st, this is not an April Fool's joke, you can get the book of the show. That's right, Personal Health Care Reform, the book, and the work through its book, because this is something you have to work through. This isn't a mandate, this is your own reform for health care. That's right, Personal Health Care Reform. Buy the book, April 1st, don't be a fool. Hello, my name is Chris Adding. I'm a veteran, an attorney, and the founder of Adding Law Firm. The Adding Law Firm has a vision. We're going to change the way that veterans experience the VA claims process. One of the ways we're going to do that is by getting more information and more power in more ways to more veterans. Stop by our website at AdigLawFirm.com. While you're there, check out our Veterans Law blog where you'll see daily posts from our attorneys and our staff 
about issues that veterans face in their VA claims. You can also check out the VA Claims University where we have ebooks, videos, training courses, and email lists available uh, for a variety of issues that might come up in your VA claims. Stop by our website, attiglawfirm.com, A-T-T-I-G-L-A-W-F-I-R-M.com. The Attig Law Firm will change the way that veterans experience the VA claims process by getting more information and more power in more ways to more veterans. AttigLawFirm.com. All right, we are back. It is the Personal Health Care Reform Talk Show, taking your health to a higher level. And today, 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 I have a special guest with you. We're going to talk about, uh, last time I had Carla Ferreira in here, we talked about the mindset for, for women, especially obese women, going through that, getting healthy. And now we're going to have the male side of the equation, because uh, I have a, a total testament to doing it your way. Uh, I mean, <laughs> if we could queue up some... Uh, uh, I'm going brain dead here. What's his name? Iconic singer. I did it my way. Oh. Sinatra? Sinatra. Oh, that's Thank Sinatra? You. Yeah, there we Thank go. Thank you, everybody. Sinatra. <laughs> so, um, I'm losing my head today. Anyway, so if we had some Sinatra, we'd, we'd get from some Frank Sinatra to, to do this because you did a blog last night. And, of course, today on the show we've got Mr. Scott Tucker, who is one of my one of my friends and a partner in ID Life. I notice there's a lot of people from ID Life coming on the show lately. Maybe you should check that out and go take your free assessment because it's free and it used to cost $300 to take this thing. <laughs> it was gonna, they were going to charge people $300 to take this assessment. You're getting it for free. Go take it. Um, so with that, Scott, you were in here. You wrote a blog, uh, put it out on Facebook a couple days ago. Phenomenal blog. It gets to the heart of the situation, which is skinny guys like me that have abs can't get into the head of, <laughs> of somebody that has never had them or maybe had them and lost them and has been obese and it's, it's a whole different mindset so which is why I've got you on today because you've got a, just an incredible story and thank you so let's let's start off with um, oh god where to start where to start, where to start? Uh, let's start off with, with your story where, where you started it well my health journey actually began I would say probably about two and a half years ago um, I'd had I'd fluctuated with my weight. I'd been overweight my entire life. Fluctuated up and down. Did everything on the market to try to lose weight, both legal and maybe not so <laughs> legal. <laughs> maybe not so legal. We'll just leave it at that. My kids might be listening. Um, uh, but you know, I literally had tried everything over the counter, under the counter, behind the table. You know, you name it. I and, tried in it in a dark alley. And it, hey, shh, yes, no. <clears throat> Anyways, never mind. Um, but. My weight had always fluctuated. I had been incredibly overweight. Uh, At my highest point, I was 315 pounds, um, and I was hopeless. That was the extent of my life. When it came to my weight and my size, I was convinced that there was no way that I was – everyone in my family was overweight. I come from a cooking family. We love food to this day. I still love food. I still eat real food. You know, rule number one, you don't have to do everything overnight, period. Exactly. You know, that's the thing that I think that uh, people people think, you know, well, I've got to do this, I've got to go do this, and they see these guys that are, you know, in your shape. Or, and or they watch The Biggest Loser, and they see yeah. something over the course of six weeks that really should take you know, a year or two. You know, and I, I think... Yeah, I see the biggest loser stuff, and I'll, I'll be real honest. Out of all those reality shows, that are the weight loss shows, the only one I actually like is um, Chris Powell with Extreme uh, Makeover Weight Loss okay, Edition. Yeah. And that, and I've actually talked about that in one of my other blogs. I have a very high respect for him because what he does on the show is he not only addresses the physical needs of losing the weight, mm-hmm. but he also understands that the mindset of someone who is obese – the food is not the actual addiction. It's the food is a crutch for the underlying pain. And he addresses that. He's one of the only ones that really focuses in on that. And you know, I have I, I do hope I meet him one day because I have I want to shake his hand. I have much respect for him. Um, you know, out being outside of ID life, I've been life coaching for many years. Yeah. And for me that was my greatest struggle was how am I a life coach? You know, my entire coaching program was living the ideal life. And here I am teaching other people how to live their ideal life, yet I'm struggling with the one thing that's keeping me from living my ideal life. Yeah. Um, and so I said it, it all started. I set up my, my no list. You know, what am I not willing to do? Well, I'm you know, not willing to make my whole family change everything. 
I'm not willing to go to the gym five days a week. I'm not willing to do those workout DVDs. And, you know, <laughs> I get, I, you know, I get scared watching those. I, I get scared looking at them. Um, well, you should because most of those are pretty scary. Yeah, they are. I don't even like most of them. You know, I, I played rugby, but that stuff's, that stuff's crazy. It's, it's, it's insanity. It, 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 it <laughs> might be, ins- yeah. <clears throat> Anyways. <laughs> but what it all boils down to is for people who are where I was, the insanity within that is thinking that your body has the ability to do that without injury. Because when you're eating the way most people who are as obese as I was were eating, there's no nutritional foundation. And so for me, I, I mean, yes, obviously ID Life has been an absolute game changer for me. Um, I started at 315. I was able to get to 275 on my own. Yeah. And that took me over a year. And, and this, just so everybody knows, this is without going to the gym, doing all kinds of wild workouts, doing all the DVDs, all this stuff. I mean, it's yeah, you, that you could, is. And I want to talk about what you've done because reading your blog was phenomenal because you essentially set up your your own game for how to do this. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Um, and yeah, that's I mean that has been the thing. And uh, you know, a mutual friend of ours, Tad, who's a product yeah. expert for the company, is like, got to get in the gym, got to lift the weights, and I'm like, mm. I was, like, I was like, I'm going to show – I said, for my, for my testimony to be real, I have to do it from start to finish. I have to see if what I'm doing can go all the way through to my final end, my final end result with – I don't have a gym membership. I don't do the DVDs. I don't do you know ridiculous amounts of cardio. I don't lift weights. It's pure organic. I mean, the only – weights I have is a set of 10 pound, 10 pound dumbbells that my wife actually uses and a set of 20 pound that I use occasionally. And your wife has made huge strides as well. Cause my wife's smoking hot, dude. I mean, that's yes, just... Yes, she is, actually. I'm, I'm going to go in there with you. Yes, your wife is smoking hot. Um, and so just with that, for, for everybody out there, the family that gets healthy together stays together. Absolutely. Well. Yeah. Um, but I wanted to put something together and I wanted to show people that you don't have to be drastic to have real results. Um, basic calorie counting, mm-hmm. putting a solid nutritional foundation, which I know is something you and I wholeheartedly agree on. Oh, yeah, it's huge. Um, but I was able to, when I, you know, I went from 315, made it to 275, and I was over-exercising, doing... I lost 40 pounds in a year, and I, for... Like four months straight, I was doing anywhere from eight to ten hours a week of cardio. Wow! <laughs> and I was getting you, nowhere. Yeah, you're, you're overstressing the system, so you yeah. couldn't lose. Um. Finally, in February of 2013, uh, a buddy of mine introduced me. He said, "I want to, want you to take a look at this system," and I basically told him where to put the system. Um, but he, <laughs> he uh, after a few months of uh, uh, a, a, after a few weeks of his encouragements and nudging, I, I took a look at it and I got on the ID Nutrition and I realized that, you know, having a nutritional foundation that really meets my body where it is, mm-hmm. that was my basis. And then I did that in basic calorie counting. That, that is not a total imposition that, that throws your world into a, a, a whole tizzy because it's, if, if it's not easy, you're not going to do it. No, and that's the thing is when you are 100 pounds or more overweight, you know, yes, I want to go do all that cool stuff on TV. Mm-hmm. My body says no. You know, for me, it, and it's one of the things I put in the blog yesterday, it's, and, you know, I'm launching an initiative to work with personal trainers to really teach them how to work with people who are obese because, you know, they see, they see it as, well, they gave up or they're quitters mm-hmm. or this. Yeah, it's, they're they're it, just lazy. They're not. Yeah. It's, there's a mindset there that you have to do just as much heart work as you do head work when you're working with someone who is that overweight mm-hmm. because the mind says, you know, the body is telling the mind, I can't do this anymore. And, you have, and you know, you're hopeless. Well, if you find out what their goals are, most people think that everyone's definition of health is the same. You know. Right. Six pack abs. I mean, how did I put it yesterday? Six pack abs and melon sized biceps, and yeah. you know, running around. <laughs> you know, I. One of my biggest goals was, and it, and it sounds crazy, and people laugh about this, 
But my belly was so big that I couldn't tie my shoes on the top of the shoe. I had to like hike my leg up, lean forward, and tie my shoe over to the side. Mm -hmm. And I was still out of breath doing that. So for me, it was a, a, a massive goal just, just to, to be able shoes. to lean forward and tie my shoes on the top of the shoe and not be winded. Yeah. Another goal past that. I wasn't worried about a six-pack. I wanted to confirm that I actually did have ribs because <laughs> I had not seen them in so long that I wanted to confirm they were there. Well, the good news is they are. I have found them finally. Yeah. Um, but when it comes to the mindset of someone who's overweight, it really boils down to you got to realize that you're not fighting their body. You're fighting with the hopelessness that goes along with their weight and the burdens that they carry. Yeah, you're, you're fighting everything that's going on in their head, in their minds. Exactly. And if you want to make any progress with their physical being, you've got to start with what's in their heart, what's in their head. And you've got to start there because otherwise... You're not going to get anywhere. Yeah, exactly, because they will they will push back on you like you wouldn't believe. Because now they're, they're, they got another enemy coming at them. Yeah. Um, so with that, you you have your first book out already. I do. And uh, and you have another book on the way. Yes, uh, the first book, Awakened to Action. Uh, it's actually a men's ministry book. Um, five studies. It's a work study book. It's available on Amazon. Uh, second book is hopefully coming out uh, this April where I'll actually be going into the, the mindset or the science of obesity and how to basically going through a lot of what I just shared with you, but going through the real details on what it means to overcome the mindset of someone who's struggled being obese their entire life. Yeah, yeah and it's, it's, a, it's a big thing. And, um, uh, you know, last time I was on the last show, I talked about... Uh, was that? I'm going branded, people. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> too, too, too much going on today. Um, Downsize Fitness, and I'm going to get you in touch with them as well. Mm -hmm. uh, see about doing some, some training with them, with their trainers, because it's all they work with is people that are obese and going through that. Um, so with that, I want to thank you for coming on the show today. You Absolutely. Know, some, some Thanks for time having me. Because you're all over the place. And uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, people, when we see the before and after pictures of him, which I will have posted, uh, you're, you won't believe your eyes. And it is, diet is 90% of it. Okay. Or actually, not just diet, but nutrients. Getting the proper nutrients in is ninety percent of it because Amen. that's what makes your body and makes things happen. Uh, the exercise is just kind of a bonus. Um, and with that, talking about my books, my book comes out April first. In fact, it's already out now because right now it's April third, and you're listening. So go check out my book. You can actually get it for free on on Amazon right now. I think we're doing the the two week free promo on that. Uh, Personal health care reform, the book, and then of course. Whenever your book comes out, we'll talk about that one as well and get that one pushed out. Awesome. And um, otherwise, thanks for coming on the show. And uh, everybody, go to uh, clintfuqua.com, go to personalhealthcarereform.com, check out all my health partners, Kinesi, uh, ID Life. Go take that free health assessment. It's worth $300. Um, <laughs> it's worth your life, is what it's worth. Amen. How much is that worth? So uh, check them out, Pick a Fit Foods. Um, and also all the nonprofits I'm working with right now, uh, St. Baldrick's. I'm a bald man right now, by the way. I still have hair on my head while recording, but if you listen to this, I'm a bald man. There was a price on my head. Somebody took it. I got scalped. <laughs> see me at the game. Kill rate pricing. So um, enough of the bad jokes. I will see you on the next show. Thanks for tuning in.